Carlito. No, I know, but that's his, that's his white name, That's his white bro. name? That's his white name. It's later. <laughs> later, brother. There's just a, a certain philosophy here. It's like everybody's always looking for something to wow you here when they come here. Every time. Everybody. Yeah. It's a tight crew here, too. Small staff, you know, small front of the house staff, small back of the house. So it's a true family, I think. I'm John Shuck. I'm Vinny DiTolo, Animal Restaurant. We're in Los Angeles, and we're gonna go on an eating tour. <laughs> we put together a pretty good group of guys that all love to eat. I text Ethan, who's like a good friend of ours, loves to eat. He, of course, jumped in, hit up a couple of his friends. Uh, we had Zach McGowan, voiceover wizard, good friend of ours. Uh, used to cook with us. Aziz, a buddy of ours who we met here at Animal. He brought some friends, and of course, Jeff from Thrillist. He probably knows more than any of us. We've been open uh, a year and eight months now. John and I have been cooking together for uh, 10 years now. It's a long fucking time. Both from Florida. I grew up in uh, Ormond Beach. He grew up in uh, Clearwater and met in culinary school. I think uh, the restaurant was uh, something we were like dying to get back into. We had you know, worked in some fine dining restaurants our first couple years out of school and then kind of fell off and started catering and built our business up from there. And It's always been our dream, I think, to have our own restaurant and be a chef in a restaurant. We never were like sous chefs anywhere. We were like line cooks, caterers, business owners, now restaurant tours, you know. Yeah, LA is kind of where we've dug our feet in, you know. I think Been like here for I th eight years now. Yeah, I think the food scene I think has really taken a turn in the last five years here. Like there were some really solid chefs here before, but now it's a place where it can be considered to be a culinary mecca of the U.S. I, I don't know if the rest of the U.S. would agree with that, but I think like we want to kind of wave that flag a little bit. Yeah, we're loading this bitch up. Straight you can't up. fuck with me. Know, he knows he can't fuck with me. He's not on my left wing. Hey, we need to cut up to uh, Wilshire. Are we going for flavor or for quantity tonight? I'm going flavor. No, no, no. We're, we're, only, we're, only, we're only eating flavor. We're only I'm eating only flavor. Making, so, I mean, you're eating whatever Ethan eats, right? Yo, I'm going sandwich for sandwich, taco for taco with you, head up. <laughs> the first stop, uh, it's called Goo Rim. We, uh, John and I found it when we first moved here. Not knowing a bunch of people that were coming with us, I think it was a good idea to bring them there because it's kind of interactive and you kind of, you know, sitting around a table like grilling meat and eating kimchi and you know pickled vegetables and all you that get stuff. Get your hands in it, play yeah. around with it. Fuck yeah. I love this shit. I'll eat this shit raw. Isn't this raw beef? You can eat that. Yeah, raw, yeah, right? you can eat it raw, but what's the point? This yeah, what's the point? In another couple seconds this shit's gonna be piping hot and you're gonna be throwing stuff on there. Aziz, you're getting on this shit, eh? This shit's the bomb. Deep fried. I love rabbit. So crazy Southern California. You want to do one with them? Yeah, let me do a food tour. <laughs> you know, it's funny because in, in press too, it's like we always try to be considerate of like what, what we're doing on our menu and what people are going to gravitate towards. And it's like for a while, everybody's like, oh, this restaurant's so like bacon and like pork. And it is. There is bacon on the menu and there is pork, but I think it was like the bacon thing really got people because there's bacon in a dessert and there was a couple things on the menu that had bacon in them, but it's like, it's not the focus here. I mean, I had people ask us if we put bacon in our iced tea. It's like, who the fuck's telling you this kind of yeah, stuff, right? I mean, we're always looking for inspiration, but you know, we kind of run within really tight confinement here at Animal. We try not to like really do too much Asian inspired food. You know, we have such a large community of Chinese people here, Korean people here, Japanese people here, and they all do it so well. Cheers. 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 Good tour. Good tour. Good tour.
<laughs> you know what's fucked up? You know what? Because the fact that that was a sit-down meal wasn't the way to start the night. You gotta be moving. You just spit your sorry, thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are you going? We gotta roll. I gotta go meet him. Hurry up! I'm there in spirit, but I I, I told him I'd meet him at spirit. Spirit, fuck spirit! Are you kidding me or what? I told them uh, I would meet them for a drink at 10, and I, I gotta do that. Uh, is it a business meeting or is it a girl? It's, it's, it's a woman. Wait, no, you're not going? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> with you? He's going to meet <laughs> What kind of crap is this? How many chicks are gonna be there? Is it a gangbang? Is it a gangbang? Down in that rough kind of neck of the woods, there's a place, Dino's Burgers and Chicken, which pretty much only serves chicken. That's the cool thing with the name, but it's this dirty, like, $5 box of, like, red, orange chicken that's marinated that became a fan of it. And whenever you tell people, they, like, you know, they'd never really heard of it. And it's pretty damn tasty. I don't know what it is. It's scary, but it's good. You know what it is? It's probably like they put this chili like oil. they put this vinegar, this, this vinegar shit that they're putting on it right there. It's fucking look how fast this guy's moving. Oh, this you guy. wish you had a guy this fast in your restaurant. Oh. Bam, bam, boom. Look at the size of this chicken. He's you just know, putting it's, half look at chicken. Just like however the fuck he wants to do it. Oh, look at that. We're always so oh, wow. we're only, we're always what is that. What is that? <laughs> we're always so. I need a side cup of that stuff. Chicken time. It's good. And it's like, how much was it, each one of these? Like, seven bucks? Um, five bucks. Five fucking dollars. I want to know how they get this so red. You had fury. It's, it's pigeon. What is that? How did you do that? Guys, yeah, you guys were eating pigeon. I don't have a problem. Look. There's one. <laughs> Let's get the fuck to the next place. What's next up on the menu? I think some taco truck Johnny's got lined up. So we figured that like we might as well also try to hit a couple taco trucks when we're out on the street. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, did you should have fucking ran that piece of shit over? <laughs> Oh, oh. Yo, we're trying to find a taco truck right now. You got a little car getting our way to the taco truck. <laughs> tell him you don't call him now and tell him to heat up the donuts. Oh, look out for this taxi. Time to make the donuts in there. We decided to stop back at the restaurant too. For a donut. Donuts are almost out of season here, believe it or not, because the donuts only really work when the temperature's right here in LA. Yeah, I'd say another, like, we'll probably only have another, like, month or two left on the donuts. Yeah. And then it'll be done. Oh, my stomach's on fire. Yeah, mine is too. I got a good you know case of bubble You know what's right good now. to put the fire out in your stomach? Media, sure. A donut. This is what we do in Hollywood, kids. We drive around and binge eat. I, I think there's many things that come into play when why it's so busy, you know, it's like, I think the food speaks for itself, you know, obviously you can tell by looking around, there's not much decor here, it's not really that bringing you in, it's not the music, you know what I mean? It's just not that type of like LA, like quintessential kind of restaurant where it's like people are doing coke in the bathroom, it's like they might be doing it, but you know, people are here to eat, so I doubt it. I'm going for the fork. We only had a short amount of time to hang out and. We were just trying to get as many new experiences for everyone tied into one night, you know. I think it was, and I think we accomplished that. We like, I like, I think as much as we love cooking, we also love eating, like big time. Eating's, uh, I guess, a reward for all the work, right? <laughs> <laughs>